Why didn't India consider the Russian RD-33 engine for its LCA Tejas program? It's a misconception that the RD-33 engine was never considered for the Light Combat Aircraft LCA Tejas program. When the program began in the mid-1980s, India initially opted for the RD-33 engine. However, significant issues arose. The RD-33 engine was not adequately developed for use in single-engine fighters, as its safety standards needed considerable enhancement. To make it suitable for the LCA, substantial investment was required to develop a single-engine variant similar to China's RD-93 engine, which is a derivative of the RD-33. India, however, did not plan to use the RD-33 engine for LCA production models. It only intended to procure 1520 engines for the development phase. At the same time, the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, convinced the Indian government that the Gas Turbine Research Establishment, GTRE, could develop an indigenous 8,000 kg thrust class engine for the LCA program. The government, relying on DRDO's assurances, approved the project without conducting an external audit. Consequently, the Indian government was reluctant to invest in modifying the RD-33 engine. Russia had offered to invest in a single-engine variant of the RD-33, provided India placed a bulk order, reportedly for at least 150 units. Russia also proposed licensed production of the RD-33 in India. However, the DRDO lobby resisted the adoption of the RD-33 for the LCA, and instead recommended using the American General Electric GE F404 engine for the development phase. The F404 engine was already developed as part of the US F-20 light fighter program and had its maiden flight in 1982. Thus, it was decided that the American GE F-404 engine would power the LCA during development, while the production variants would use the indigenously developed GTRE GTX-35 Kaveri engine. The expectation was that the Kaveri engine would be ready within 10 to 12 years, with a target completion date in the early 2000s. In reality, even after 35 years, the Kaveri engine remains incomplete. Revisiting the RD-33 and alternative engines. By 2008, the Indian government realized that the Kaveri engine was far from operational and that an alternative engine was required for the production models. The RD-33 engine, along with the European Eurojet EJ-200 and the French M88, was reconsidered. However, introducing a new engine at that stage would have delayed the already delayed LCA program by another five to six years. The GEF-404 engine, which had been supplied to India around 1997 to 1998 for LCA prototypes, had become familiar to DRDO and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited AL. Both organizations had developed a working relationship with GE and absorbed technical knowledge about the engine. To avoid further delays, the government decided against switching engines and chose to continue with the GE F404. As a result, the RD-33 was once again dropped from consideration for the LCA program. Missed opportunities in engine localization. The mistakes didn't end there. Even after selecting the GE F404 engine, India missed the opportunity to secure a local production license, as countries like Sweden and South Korea did with similar agreements. In 2008, India lacked a long-term vision for the GE F404 engine. Today, India has built 50-55 LCA Tejas units, including technology demonstrators, prototypes, and limited series production models. Another 180 units are planned, with orders for 83 LCA Tejas MK1A placed in 2021 and an additional 97 units in the pipeline. In total, India is expected to produce around 250 units for its Air Force. If export orders of 30 to 50 units are secured, the total could reach 280 to 300. This would require over 400 GE F404 engines. Had India negotiated for local production of the GE F404 engine in 2008, a deal could have been finalized by 2012-2013, with production starting around 2016 to 2017. Local manufacturing would have reduced costs and improved self-reliance by producing many engine components domestically. However, from the outset of the LCA program, India has made a series of missteps that continue to affect its defense capabilities today.